group of companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa who were on a trip and they came upon a group of Arabs in the desert and they request, requested from those Arabs to give them some hospitality since they were in the middle of the desert and they were kind of like wayfarers. Because those Arabs weren't Muslims and they had enmity towards the Muslims, they refused to give them any hospitality. So the companions under the emirship of Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu anhu, they continued their trip. Allah Ta'ala caused the leader of those people who refused the hospitality to the companions to be stung by a scorpion or bit by a poisonous snake. He was dying from the poison. So the people said amongst themselves, why don't you go and ask those people who came from Medina, radiallahu anhu, do they have any local medicines that we can give to the leader? So they went to the companions and they asked them, do they have anything? The companions in this situation, they had the upper hand. They could have made it personal. They could have said to the people, no, you remember what you did? You guys refused us hospitality. So we're not doing anything for you. But that wasn't the way of the companions. And that's not the way of the Muslims. Abu Sa'id al-Khudri said, yes, I have something I can perform on him. But before I do this, I want you people to agree to give us something in return. Give us 30 sheep. A sheep for each man in our group. Those people agreed. Abu Sayyid al Khudri went back and he read over the man Surat al Fatiha. This is in Sahih al Bukhari in the chapter of the virtues of the Quran, Surat al Fatiha. He read over the man seven times, Surat al Fatiha. After the seventh time, he spit on the man. Because after the person reads Surat al Fatiha, or any aspect of the Qur'an, the spittle that comes out of his mouth after that has barakah on it. The man stood up and started walking around as if he was okay. So the kuffar gave them the camels. Abu Sa'id al-Khudri said, no, we have to go see if this was okay. We have to ask Rasulullah sallallahu When they got to Medina, they told him the story. Rasulullah said to Abu Sa'id al-Khudri sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, وَمَا يُدْرِيكَ أَنَّهَا رُقْيَا How did you know, Abu Sa'id, that Surat al-Fatiha was a ruqya? How did you know that Surat al-Fatiha is a surah that if the woman is experiencing the pains that she get at the beginning of each month, she can just read Surat al-Fatiha on herself? The person who's suffering from some type of sickness or disease before spending money to go to the doctor here or there, he uses the Quran. But because of the weak iman, we don't think about that. We think about the monetary ways of curing ourselves. And Allah has mentioned in the Quran, وَنُنَزِّرُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ We have revealed in the Quran that which is a shifa and a rahma to the believers. It will take away, wallahi, some of the more serious diseases that people are dealing with. But you have to have iman. So, Surah Al-Fatiha is without doubt the greatest surah of the Quran.